Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So the first question is a codon is an, and here is the four answers to choose from. Answer A, nucleotide. Answer B, amino acid. Answer C, nitrogen base. And answer D, three base sequence. And uh, amino acid here uh, is stands out from this list because this, in other words, would be protein. We have uh, 20 proteins and uh, the other way to call them would be amino acids. And nucleotide, nitrogen base and three base sequence refers to uh, almost, almost the same thing, refers to the uh, basis of the DNA or uh, message RNA, but which one is correct? And here is an uh, example that would clarify the situation. So this is message RNA. Imagine that here we have bases A, C, uh, U, G, A, C, U, G, A. As you see, we don't have uh, zymine here because this is message RNA and in message RNA, zymine is substituted with uracil. So uh, message RNA codes for the protein chain and we have, as you see here, only four bases, adenine, cytosine, uracil and guanine. And these four bases should code for the 20 amino acids and how is this possible? This is possible only if uh, three nucleotides would code for one uh, protein or amino acid. So that means that uh, total number of combinations possible would be 64. And uh, three of those uh, 64 uh, combinations would code for the stop codon one would code for the mesianine and also for the start codon and uh, so 61 combinations would code for the uh, amino acids and that means that some of the or all of the amino acids would be caught by many different combinations so that means that uh, message RNA are read by the ribosome as a set of uh, trinucleotides. So this is going to be the first trinucleotide and this is going to be the second and this is going to be the third. So uh, we also call this uh, frames and one frame would include three nucleotides. Or the other way how we call them, we call them codons. One codon means uh, three nucleotides. And this is answer D. And next question, which code board signals start in genetic code? And here is the four answers to choose from. And if you don't know the correct answer, you just have to memorize that the correct answer would be B. And this is going to be the sequence A, U, G. The sequence uh, code for the start codon on the message RNA. And here is a table of codons. And as you see, uh, as I said in my previous example, all 20 amino acids. So here is the names of the uh, short abbreviations of the names of the amino acids. Uh, in this column, uh, we have total uh, number of the amino acids 20. So as you see, some amino acids code by two combinations, as in these two examples, some with uh, four combinations. And, uh, but as you see, uh, we don't have AUG, you cannot find it in, in this table, because uh, here we have uh, zymine, and that means that this table are made for the DNA sequence, because uh, DNA is a source of information for the message RNA. So information from the DNA first would be 
transcribed into the message RNA and later would be translated into the um, amino acid sequence. So, uh, how to find here um, our start codon and this is uh, would be, as I said, mesianine and here, as you see, uh, the sequence A, T and G and this is different from what we have here because uh, here we have uh, uracil and here we have zymine. As you know, uh, in message RNA Zymine would be substituted with uracil. But which strand it is? We have two strands in the DNA. One would be coding strand and another one would be template strand. So which this uh, strand here or which strand here in all e examples uh, codes for the amino acid. And here because we see that uh, we have the only difference here in zymine. We can say that this would be uh, the coding strand of the DNA where we took all these uh, three nucleotides. And also you may find other tables on the internet or in the textbooks that may use the other strand of the DNA. Uh, that would be template strand. And uh, the difference would be that Coding strand would be would have the same code as uh, message RNA, and only difference would be that uh, here we would have uracil, but here we would have zymine. And uh, so let me list the difference. So on the coding strand, uh, the same sequence would be A, T, and G. And this is going to be a coding strand and uh, the other strand that is going to be template strand would be just a complementary sequence to ATG. And this is going to be uh, A base pairs with T, T base pairs with A and G base pairs with C. So this is going to be the same sequence on the uh, template strand. So if you would see uh, the table that would have uh, that would has a different code here, don't be confused because some tables can be uh, based on the um, coding strand of the DNA that is almost the same as here with only difference in zymine and uracil here. And if you would have completely different uh, sequence here, that means that this is would be a template strand. And now I hope you would be better understand uh, this table of codons. And as you see, tables can be of the three different kinds. And now everything you have to know, you just have to know uh, start codon, that is AUG. You have to find mesianine because uh, this start codon also codes for the um, amino acid mesianine. So if you would see that here we would have AUG, that means that uh, this codon's uh, table based on the uh, message RNA uh, nucleotides. If we have here ATG, that means that this is going to be DNA coding strand based table. And if we have here uh, TAC, that means that we have uh, DNA template based table. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.